WECO. Systems for Functional Finishing. Hello and welcome everybody to our presentation on the World Congress of Textile Coating 2021. Enjoy innovation at work. About the content. First of all, there's a brief introduction of the rotor spray coating. Then the spray coating in the textile industry with some examples in uh, several sectors. Um, the development and the innovation at our pilot line and of course a small outro. So first we start with the spray principle and the introduction of the Vico spray coating technology. Uh, there's a definition of spraying. Divided or uh, splitting liquids into fine droplets of the same or different size by different means. This can be done with several means. So, for example, there's a main point, there are nozzles and there are um, mechanical, um, yeah, let's say, via ultrasonic or rotary discs. We like to focus today on the rotary discs here. So, the VECO uh, rotor spray system is working with the energy to distribute the droplets that is transmitted by the rotation of the disc. So I will explain that now more in detail. This means that the droplet is formed by a liquid supply that is um, supplied to a disc. This disc is spinning around, rotating, and by the rotation, the liquid is spread out and distributed into droplets. Here you can see that in the picture, this is the classical behavior of water that forms one big, two small droplets. On the next slide, I'd like to show you what is the difference between a nozzle system and our uh, mechanical rotary spray system, because we are not uh, working with aerosols, we are um, forming micro drops. This means a micro drops has a much more bigger size than an aerosol. Yeah? And because of the higher mass and the kinetic energy, uh, the drops are oriented uh, in, in the defined direction and they fly onto the web. That's where we want to have them. But note, the droplet size uh, it's, is depending on the surface tension and also the speed of the rotor disc. So. Um, our systems require a viscosity around 100 millipascal seconds. It should be maybe lower than that. Um, the more similar to water it is, the better. To, mo uh, to go more in detail and to show you how the system is working, I like to present now a short video. Starting the spinning of the rotors by a driven belt, the discs are supplied by the application liquid. As soon as the shutter is open, the spray starts penetrating the web. Every rotor is supplied with a certain amount of liquid to form a uniform flow of micro droplets that fly onto the web material. Coming to some examples to effects, I like to show some examples from the fashion sector. Here we have different coatings realized. For example, a dye fixation, a glyoxal resin finish, an acrylic resin finish, and um, there are many, many more. For example, PVA coating, luster brilliance uh, coating, softness coatings, but I like to focus here on these four. Um, after that, um, we can also add some color in uh, the coating so that we can realize tinting effects uh, based on synthetic or natural pigments. So to show you that a little bit more in detail, I like to present this video. In this video, I like to show you some of our denim coating samples. Here on the first page, you see the original fabric with no washdown on the left side, on the right side with a washdown enzyme wash. On the next page, you see compared to it uh, to the washdown a fixation of indigo and sulfur dyes, which shows a much more dark shade uh, so that the indigo remains more on the surface. 
This sample is showing a resin and flat finish with bioglyoxal cross-linking. You see a very clean look, especially after the washdown. So compared um, to the original fabric with no washdown, there's not such a big difference. On the last page, you will find the resin and flat finish by acrylic dispersion. And um, compared to the no finishing, there's a darker shade. Coming to the single side color effects, I like to show you some denim coating color effects. So with a single side color coating, you can have effects on the front side or on the back side and or on the back side and front side. So um, here you can see an example with a front side color coating or tinting. And here you can see various backside colors so that the original blue color of the denim remains. So what are uh, the benefits to do that? There's a reduction of chemical application thanks to very, very flexible penetration level so that you can high, have high add-ons or lower add-ons. Um, there's no shade variation thanks to a exact reproducible application setting. And there's a unique high range of product development, um, which enables you to have various looks in small lots. And this is very high appreciated by the brands. So this enables you to follow trendy fashion effects. Another example um, from the functional sector is um, the coating with hydrophilic properties. So um, this can be done on all types from natural or synthetic fibers and blends on all types of fabrics, of course, which is, for example, a soil repellent coating or a hydrophobic or oleophobic coating. This can be done on uh, based on several products, which are fluorocarbon products or fluorine-free products, so wax-based products or blocked isocyanates. There are various applications possible in the automotive industry, in um, home textiles, in apparel, outdoor, so and many, many, many more. What is quite interesting is that there is a single and uh, double side application possible in one path. And you can have different coatings on each side, very various. So to show you this hydrophobic effect, please have a look at this video. Here we see our fabric, um, single side hydrophobic coating. And we put now some droplets on the surface. You can see that the droplets are remaining, staying as bubbles. There is no wetting in all directions. Put some more droplets on the surface. Same effect. Coming to the back side, which is hydrophilic, we put some droplets on this side that is not coating, and you see that there is a wetting after seconds. So what was shown in the video is the hydrophobic effect on the front side and the hydrophilic effect on the back side. Here you can see uh, the pictures, the hydrophobic front side with the nice droplets staying on the surface. And here the hydrophilic back side uh, with the wetted droplets after five seconds. So you see that there's already a penetration that took place. Uh, the fabric was uh, 200 grams per square meter cotton fabric, and uh, we uh, did this single side application at a pickup of 25%. Yeah, 
What we face uh, in today's situation is that um, since the actual pandemic uh, situation, COVID-19, um, there's a strong increase on PPE and especially face masks. So what we did is that um, in several trials, we obtained that we have a um, virus reduction by more than 99% at a pickup of only 20%. So this means that we can reduce the classic um, application at high pickup ranges. We can have a coating at low add-on ranges with the same effect. And this is quite interesting. This saves up to 60 to 90% of water chemistry and also drying energy. And especially uh, for coating applications, this is quite interesting. Yeah, here are uh, some examples of uh, our tests. We did several trials based uh, on silver chloride um, or silver nitrate, um, titan dioxide, or mechanical principle. We have uh, various applications, as I already mentioned, for face masks, PPE, but also for sports and apparel and home textiles, because we observed very good watch durability. Single site or double site application possible according to your need um, and different coatings of front and back side. So, as per your request, VECO offers um, the process solution required, which is our Sigma, Protec, or Neo encapsulated rotor carriers um, that enables you to have maximum flexibility. Please feel free to ask for the right configuration. So coming to a conclusion, I'd like to present uh, in a shortcut the benefits of the VECO spray system which is an adjustable penetration level enables you to work with maximum flexibility um, with reduced drying costs and low add-on rates um, with a programmable application quantity and also repeatable fluid supply. So it means if you uh, um, program one setting, um, it is fixed. You can uh, do the setting again in the next day or one week after or one month after, it will be the same. There's a high speed production possible, uh, speed compensated at uh, changing light speeds. So you are able to run uh, faster in your line. We have uh, a gentle processing thanks to the non-contact application. So we have no pressing, no squeezing. We have no contact, no contamination. And um, as I already mentioned, front and reverse side is multi-flexible. So um, last but not least, I like to present um, um, our pilot line. Here in our headquarter, we have the possibility to create um, new innovative product and um, in cooperation with you, we are looking forward to your ideas. So then I like to say, don't hesitate, start now using Vico to increase your product output, to low down your production costs, reduce chemical wastage, rise up your quality and create new flexibility and innovation. We will be now present for Q&A. Thank you very much. Vico. Systems for functional finishing.